A Day Out, written by David Fullerton and presented by Southbank Playhouse. Going. What do you mean, where are we going? Where are you taking us today? Where do you think? Where do we usually go on a nice day? It was your suggestion anyway. I just said it would be nice to get out. But I didn't mean to go to the same place every time. For God's sake! Down to the promenade every time the sun comes out. Use your imagination. You're the one that does all the driving. I'd have said something before we started out. Well, where do you want to go? Somewhere different. Somewhere we haven't been before. Oh, great. Very precise. Look, you're the one complaining, so you choose. How do I know? Just somewhere different from that same old promenade. Just decide. Just turn off at random and see where it goes. Oh, be adventurous for once. You want to talk. What? Well, you're the one that always wants to decide where we go, and you never choose anywhere different. Well, I don't want to go to the same old thing today. Look! The sun's shining, not a cloud in the sky. So be adventurous. Surprise me. Don't ever do that. You just end up complaining anyway. Oh, that's right. Blame me. As if you never complain, just take me somewhere different for a change. All right. All right. Oh, careful. Go easy. You nearly give me whiplash. You should have been watching instead of daydreaming. Oh, I wasn't daydreaming. I was looking ahead for signposts. Oh, but I see you've decided. Well, where will this take us? I don't know. Somewhere different. It's very narrow. I hope we don't meet anything. A tractor or something. Can't see you reversing the whole way back. Well, it is different, isn't it? And I'm sure it goes somewhere we haven't been before. There, see? It's getting wider. (laughs) Just a bit. Oh, it's very steep. Yes, we'll get a good view from top. Then we can see where we are. Hmm. Oh, take that look off your face. Come on, loosen up. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the mystery tour. You can't say this isn't different. Here you are. We're, we're out of trees now. <gasps> oh, this is lovely. You can see for miles. See, you can choose somewhere I don't complain about. Uh, let's see where we can pull over. I don't suppose it matters much. There's not a soul about. Only sheep in pastures green abiding. Oh, look, look! What? Where? Down there, by stream. Uh, it's gone. No, there, in the shadow of hedge. Just, just to the right. <gasps> oh, yes. I can see it. God, it's big, isn't it? What is it? Mm, Could be a black dog or or a big cat. No. Oh, it's too big for a cat. (laughs) Unless it's a panther or something like that. Don't be silly. You don't get panthers round here. They're Captain Zoos. Don't know about that. What about places like Longleat Park? <laughs> they have lots of wild animals roaming there. But that's not here. We don't have places like that here. Oh, oh, look. Look, it's dashed away into the stream. Look. It's splashing at something in the water. Oh, a fish or something. Oh, it's gone. We'll never know what it was. No. Still, if it was a dog, its owner should be prosecuted. Let the big beast like that run wild in the fields. You're right. Should be kept on a leash. It could do all sorts of damage. Killing the sheep, disturbing the cows. Anyway, it's gone. 
Would you like to go down there by river? Oh, yes. Why not? We could have our picnic down there, as long as that black beast doesn't show up again. Do you think it's safe? Of course it is. Bring basket and I'll lock up the car. I'll put the flask in. Yeah, you do that. There's a stile over there. There must be a right away. Come on. Careful now. It's a bit rickety. That's it. Hand me the basket. Over and down. Good. There you are. Oh, lovely. Glad I wore my flat shoes. <laughs> Wouldn't get far in my heels. <laughs> no, you would not. <laughs> the mind boggles. <laughs> Remember that silly bimbo got stuck on frogs? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I have to get the life card to get her down. Oh, I'm sure that taught her a lesson or two. I hope so. <laughs> Here, come on. Maybe we'll catch up with our monster. <laughs> oh, oh, don't go trying to frighten me, Bob Horrocks. I bet you'd be the one to run if we did meet it. Let's go. I'll carry picnic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Are you sure we're allowed in here? There's no pathway. Must be private land. I mean, look at all the sheep. Ah, who's going to stop us? Sheep don't mind. No, no crops to damage, so what's the harm? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. There's no harm done. Come on. I'll beat you to the stream. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. You have the, your head start and I have picnic basket. <laughs> Come back. Look at this. You're fitter than I am. Let's rest here for a minute. <laughs> oh, it's good exercise. Oh, we should do this more often. We've got far too set in our ways, going shopping, gardening, watching the telly. Yeah, you're right. We sh should be more adventurous, more get up and go. I wonder what that thing was. Probably a big dog. It had a strange way of moving, though. A sort of lopping limp. Very strange. <laughs> what fine alliteration. You should write poetry. <laughs> Maybe it's the hound of Baskerville sent through a time warp. It was big, though. But we didn't get a proper look. Anyway, we can relax now. The path goes down there into trees. I think we should investigate now we've started our adventure. <laughs> Some adventure. Oh, come on. I'll lead the way. Follow the leader to market. The country is having an effect on you, Bob. <laughs> yeah. That wee wood there looks just the place for a, a bit of something adventurous. Oh, look there, among trees. There's a sort of stone tower or something. Come on, let's go and see. Come on, Glad. In we go. You watch the nettles. Oh, it's lovely. Look at the sunlight coming through the leaves. Uh, not many paths, though. I don't think too many people come this way. Oh, there's a bit of a track. Let's follow that. Are you sure we can find our way back, Bob? Of course we can. There's only one path to follow, so there's no problem. It's been a long time since we did something like this before we were married. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's very overgrown. Ah, oh, oh, I'm caught. Bob, I'm snagged on something sharp. Oh, oh, help me, Bob. Oh, come on. Pull it out of the way and come on. We haven't all day. Please help me. I'm stuck here. Bob, don't go on. Bob! Oh, for God's sake. What is it? Look, 
It's hooked right around the back. I, I can't. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, for goodness sake, it's just a bramble. Oh, right enough. It's, that's a big one. Here, let's get you sorted. Ow! Watch out! That hurts. Oh, stop it. It's not that bad. There. You're free. Now, let's go. The path is getting better. We're in a sort of cobbled track. Watch out, it's a bit uneven. <laughs> this must have been used in days gone by to pull donkey carts through the woods. The cobbles stop the cart running away downhill, you see. Whew. It's a long time since any cart's been pulled here. The stones are all covered in moss. At least it'll be easier to follow this back. How far do you want to go? It's just I'd like to see that tower thing. Must be a monument or something. Oh, we could have a picnic there. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A picnic in a forest. Can't be far. It's a wood rather than a forest. <gasps> oh. oh, Bob. Could it be that animal thing? Oh, it's a crow or summit. In the distance, miles away. Oh, I hope so. But there's no danger here. Come on, let's get to our picnic site. This is the sort of thing we used to do when I was a kid. We'd take off in the morning with a boiled egg, a couple of slices of bread and butter, and some crisps, and we wouldn't come back till dinner time. Nobody worried where the kids were in those days. They were safe in those days. Not like now. They have to be lifted and laid. Yes, but times are different now. They don't even walk to school in case something happens to them. There are too many cars, buses and lorries are whizzing around. And gangs of hooligans with knives and oh. guns. <laughs> Make it sound far worse than it is, Gladys. Still, you're right about kids not walking anywhere. And when they do, they're always on their mobile phones or, or earphones plugging in their ears. I don't know what they'll do without them. Ah, look, look, there it is, Glad, in that clearing ahead. And there are some big stones around us for us to sit on. Come on. should be more careful. Let's have a look. Hmm. That's not too bad. Try to put your weight on it. That's right. Yes, straighten up. That's it. Now, lean on me. It's just a few steps and then you can sit down. Looks fine. No swelling or anything. <laughs> You'll survive. No need to call our ambulance. Here we are. You can sit here in that sunny spot while I investigate. Well, Bob, anything interesting? Anything worth investigating? It's a memorial of some sort. For a... I can't quite read it. I'll put my specs on. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. In... In memoriam, Lady Alicia Grenfell Watson disappeared with her dog, Bambury, 20th July, 1843. Well, that's a mystery. Disappeared, eh? With her dog? On the same date as today. What a coincidence. Huh. I'm sure there was good reason for it. Maybe she got fed up with Lord Grenfell, whatever you call him. He was probably off shooting or riding or something. <laughs> or a bit of how's your father with a chambermaid or something like. <laughs> oh, trust you to think of that, Bob Horrocks. Well, all the same, it is a coincidence, isn't it? Here, yeah, there's something more here in the undergrowth. Let's see. Oh, it's foreign. Non penetra ad interiorem. I can't see it, the rest. It's all worn off. 
You'd need to make a rubbing of it like we used to do in gravestones in churchyards. Still, it's interesting. Wonder if she ever did turn up. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a door here. It's fallen off its hinges, but I can move it. <gasps> don't pick on in there. The picnic's nearly out. Oh, don't. It's private property. It might be dangerous. You could slip and fall. Don't you want to come and see? Steps inside. A spiral staircase. <laughs> come on, Glad. It's great. It'll only take a minute. One, two, three, four. I'm not gonna there. Not with my ankle. But be careful. Go slowly. You can wave to me from the top. Do you hear me? Wave when you get to the top. Okay. Ooh, it's dark. There's light up there. Steps are a bit slippery, better slow down. 23, 24, 25. Aren't you there yet? Bob! Bob! Oh, where's he got to? around. Stand out where I can see you. Where are you? There's the picnic. Here, get off, you big hound. Clear off. Get away. Go. Gladys, do you not see it? It'll eat our picnic. Throw something at it. Throw something at it. Don't you see it, Glad? Oh, where is she? Where? My God, it's got something in its mouth. A bit of clothing. Or... No. It's dragging something into the undergrowth. A body in a purple gown. Gladys, answer me. Can't you see it? Gladys! Well, I'm coming down. Do you hear me? I'm coming down. Bob! Oh, where are you? Oh, don't make me come up any further. I don't like heights. No more jokes, Bob. Stop mocking about. You've annoyed me now. I'm coming up. Just you wait till I get you, Bob Horrocks. I'm coming now. Where the hell are you, Gladys? Answer me. 31, 32, 33. 20, 21, 22. Bob! Bob! How far up is it? How many steps? Stop the silliness, Bob! Answer me. Bob! Nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. Gladys! Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. 
Nein. Warte. Und die Vor und die Frei. Und die Sechs. Wille. Und die Seven. Und die Eight. Und die Vor. down by now. What is this? What's with it? Glad? Gladys? Where are you, Gladys? Glad, 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 Alicia. I say glad, 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 Alicia. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Bob. 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 Bam. Bambury. Bambury. Where are you? Bambury. Where are you? Gladys, where are you? Where are you, Gladys? Good evening. Here is the six o'clock news. The police are searching for a missing couple. A parked car was found yesterday afternoon at the B771 towards Romford. It was registered to a local man named as Robert Horrocks. A search of the area found a picnic lunch set out next to the Granville Watson Memorial Tower in a nearby woodland, but no sign of anyone was found. No evidence of foul play has been detected and the search continues. Anyone who was in the vicinity yesterday, between 1 o'clock and 4, please contact the local police at 779-835-6423. In other news, severe flooding has taken place as a result of the recent bad weather in the coastal towns of... Alicia? Alicia? Yes, my love? I found you at last. Oh, yes, at last! Why did you wander off like that? I was worried sick. Uh, I'm not sure. Bambury ran away from me after something. Another animal or, or something. And uh, I followed him into the wood. <gasps> I heard them fight. I called to him, but he didn't come. Oh, Tristan, Tristan, he didn't come. And the thorns, the, the brambles caught on my gown and I twisted my foot and fell down. I fell down, Tristan. <laughs> I fell down. I called out, but no one heard me. No one came. It's all right. It's all right, my love. Hush. No need to fret now. I found you now. It took a long time. But we're together again. Yes. I thought the devil had taken you. He had. He caught me in his teeth. And he dragged me away. Away. But he's released me now. Yes. Yes. Where's Bambury? Bambury? Oh, I don't know didn't come back. It's so long ago. Yeah, so long ago. I did try, Tristan. I really tried my best to. I know, I know. Of course you did, dearest. Let's just rest together here. Now, together. You can rest now. 
Yes, let's rest here, my love. We're both very tired. It's been a long day. Yes, such a very long day. <sighs> a Day Out Written and directed by David Fullerton Starring Barbara Ferguson as Gladys, with David Fullerton as Bob, and Johnny McGurgan as the newsreader. Presented by Sightbank Playhouse. <laughs>